Hello, Vengeance are here. So today, we are doing a video on AFK fishing. It was asked at least once, and I've done fishing videos before, but this one is going to be specifically about being AFK. Uh, so, the thing about fishing... You got two timers on fishing. Let me walk over here to the water and I'll show you. Let me move this stuff around. Alright, so the first timer <clears throat> you have is controlled by this little finding resources thing up here. Exhausted means it's going to take longer. Uh, I don't know the exact times on it, but... If you cast in the time... Uh, the timer I'm talking about is the time it takes for a fish to be on the hook. So, if this is abundant, it's going to be a lot quicker than if it's exhausted. Um, and then average is in the middle. Now, fishing time... is what controls how long your character takes to... Reel the fish in and throw it back out by itself. Um, that's the auto fishing time that you can get the reduction on. There's a lot of things that reduce that. Uh, but, unfortunately, for the best AFK equipment, you're going to have to cash up. You're going to need an equipment tailoring coupon and you're going to need a polar bear. Or a penguin. There's a couple of other ones. I like the polar bear because he gives weight. <clears throat> so, after that initial setup... You want an equip, equipment tailored coupon for this. You want a fisher's uniform because it gives you fishing XP and fishing plus one. Uh, so your goal is to get this fishing to five. Most guilds have at least level two or three. <clears throat> so with my Manos clothes at Duo, it gives me two fishing level. And then the guild gives me two or three, and then my costume gives me one. So, and the, there is the exhausted fishing time kicking in. Now, the other timer that you're going to have is how long it takes your character to process this. So, before it reels it in, if you leave it AFK. Uh, it's called auto fishing time. Went over that. Polar bear reduces it by... I think 25% at tier 4. Uh, and leveling up to tier 5 doesn't doesn't do anything for that. Now, the other important thing to get is Balanos Fishing Rod for auto fishing time, minus 25%. I'm wrong on the Polar Bear. I know I'm wrong. It's 30% and then 25. So 30% and then uh, this gives you 25%. So that's 55% reduction. Now, I go with a maple float because it gives you a chance to catch rare fish. There are other fishing poles. Life item fishing. There are other poles that you can get. Um... If you're after big fish, fine. Balanos is the best because it decreases auto fishing time if you're going for AFK fishing, right? So I won't get into the other rods. Uh, like I said, you can use whatever float you want, but I still think the chance to catch the rare fish is the best because mastery for fishing does not really matter. Um, you can discover seagulls, which is active fishing. So as far as... Uh, as far as the auto fishing AFK goes, mastery doesn't matter. Uh, fishing levels let you set this, so once you hit Guru, you can discard everything. I guess master, actually. But I only ever discard blue and below, so once you hit artisan, it doesn't really matter. I don't know why you would ever want to discard yellowfish. Uh, let's flip over to mastery. So there's a little... Uh, 
little sneak peek into my mastery. So if I remove my Manos clothes right now, or any of my Manos rings, it's not going to make the prize catch. It's not going to change the prize catch much. Um, you have to have a load of mastery before it does. And hey, look at that. Went from 2.8 to 3.1 by adding 160 mastery. It's crazy how much you need to affect that. So, I guess prize catch is a good thing. Um, it helps you get relic shards, but if you're fishing in Heidel like I do, relic shards are mostly what you're going to get anyway. Um, the other prize catch that they're talking about besides relic shards are like the, the orange slash red fish. Um, they show up fairly often. Now, the harpooning levels... That's more active fishing, so it doesn't really matter. But once you get 1,200 and above, I I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, and you see I've got Trimanos accessories and Duo Fisher's Close. And then I'm Guru 27. So, And I'm still only getting 3%. I guess whenever it's that low, 0.1% uh, helps quite a bit. But, but I don't... Um, I wouldn't put too much flack or like effort into that. Like prize catch is not that important, at least not to me. Um, now the rare fish plus five percent that pertains to the reddish orange fish as well. Now, if you're going for, let's go back to the floats. You can do the ash tree float, which will give you the uh, big fish that I was talking about. But uh, good luck getting one of those. You'll have to craft your own. I mean, I guess if you're going strictly for big fish for money, that's fine. Uh, but I, I still would recommend going for the um, rare fish. You're going to make more overall um, eventually. Now, the last thing I want to talk about as far as, like, equipment goes. Um, I already talked about the equipment tailoring coupon. You you can buy this professional fisher's uniform from the little guy over by the jeweler. I'll run over there real quick. Turn my chat off again. Just in case somebody says something ridiculous. So this luxury vendor guy here is the one that I always go to to buy all my stuff. Uh, so the should be a fisher's yeah right here, uh, and you can equipment tailor it and wear it as a costume. So it just gives you 10% more fishing XP. That's what I do it for. So that's my setup. Now the other thing is the artifact set. You can use a bunch of like meals and stuff if you have uh, your fairy with uh, continuous care. There are meals that can reduce the um, fishing time. Uh, auto fishing time meal. I forget which one it is. Uh, Balak's lunchbox, I think, is what it's called. Yeah, it's the Balix meal. I don't use those. Uh, if you're if you're struggling to get fishing uh, level five on here, say you don't have the Manos clothes or whatever, you can use these Life Stones or Trans Tier, and it'll give you Gathering Flash fishing speed plus two, which just adds to this. Um, it helps to get that maxed out at five. So if you're going for AFK, you want the Balanos rod for the reduction. You want the um, clothes for the XP. You want the polar bear for the reduction. So it's already putting you at 55%. And then you want the artifact set. Let me switch over to it. Uh, the artifacts that you use don't really matter. I have life XP and fishing XP on mine. 
but the thing that matters are the effects. It's called nibbles. Uh, auto fishing time minus 15%, so that'll get you about 70%. Uh, and then, of course, it gives you mastery in fishing. Um, and we added 20 mastery. So I'm at 1280. It didn't even increase my prize catch fish by 0.1%. So like I said, mastery. I guess if you kicked it up and went full on and, ha and had Tet Manos clothes and Tet Manos accessories, then you could get to a point where you have way more, but it's not something to aim for. Uh, if you're doing AFK fishing, you want to aim for the auto time reduction. Um, so 70% is a good, good thing. Um, and you, I'll let it run here until it pulls in so you can see how fast it is compared to without. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the spots that you want to fish at. I have a list. Let me find, let me find said list. I've uh, tested out a bunch of these spots back and forth to figure out which ones were the best. So uh, my main spot that I fish at is right here on this rock in Heidel by the storekeeper. Storekeeper. Rock. Accidentally right-clicked. Um, I get mostly relic shards here, and that's why I fish here, even if it is exhausted 100% of the time. You can fish in Velia, and I have tried that, and you do get quite a bit of red Corvinas that are worth a million silver apiece, so by the time you turn them into the Imperial Trader... Eh, it evens out, but I, it depends on where, where you fish depends on what you want. So, I always do Imperial Trading, so it guarantees me silver. Um, so I'm not too worried about the, I'm not too worried about like the freshness. As long as it's, as long as it's not expired, then the Imperial guys will take it. Um, my favorite place so far now that the coelacanth event it seems to be permanent uh is over here in alta nova right over here that's where the area for the coelacanths are you make a ton of silver and you get a ton of coelacanths because it's usually abundant i was fishing in grana for a while and it does okay but it doesn't do as well in terms of silver um the Heidel is very volatile in terms of, of silver, so if you're looking for relic shards, go for, for Heidel. But um, if you're looking for pure silver, it's more consistent fishing in the other places. But with Heidel, you'll be fishing along and you get the golden Alba, Alba quartz. Uh, and then you can get the, the pure, I forget what they are, the pure out shoes or whatever they're called. I butchered that name, but uh, they're worth 32 and 16 million silver apiece. And you'll see how fast the uh, the auto fishing is with 70%. It'll um, pop here in a second. Does not take very long. It's usually, what is it, like three minutes, I think. And you can get it down to, to like one minute pretty good um now the there was a rumor that you could fish at tooth fairy cabin for more relics but i have not had good luck there i fished there for a little while and i could not i wasn't getting the numbers that i was here, even here in heidel so starting out uh value is a good spot alta nova is a good spot grana is okay but i didn't get near the relics see it already reset itself so that 70 percent makes a difference the artifact set for AFK fishing was, it, it was costly, but it was definitely worth it. Um, I like to throw on my Kaffir's Journal of Nature for another 10% life XP. So I'm, I'm pulling quite a bit in terms of extra fishing XP between the, the Manos and the... Um, now, I thought I had... I may, if I go to start, like, really pushing for... For, like, experience to level on up to Guru 50. 
uh, you might go and do silver embroidered. I don't know if they give you... Yeah, if you get plus 5, you can get extra um, fishing XP. So, that might be a thing. It's It would be worth. Um, the extra mastery on Manos doesn't make a huge amount of difference at duo for the um, prize catch thing that I was talking about. The 3.1%. I mean, it's 0.3%, so it's not, it's not huge by any means. The mastery matters more if you're doing harpooning, but nobody does that. So that's not AFK, it's active. Um, so in terms of spots from, like, bet top tier, uh, my top tier is Heidel. And then probably underneath that, Altanova. Um, Grana's good. Velia's good. Grana and Velia, I'd consider about the same. They're good. Um, I haven't fished in Valencia much. Now, you can AFK fish anywhere out in the ocean, but... Um, Uh, it's then you gotta have a boat and you gotta bring it all back and in terms of turning it in you can turn it into the trade manager but it has to be in a in a um, major city and then you have to have high trading mastery to get money out of it so I just do imperial plus it gives me imperial seals and a chance at um, another fishing XP artifact that's what I'm searching for I want the other 5%. So, if you're starting out, I recommend here in Heidel, or just off the coast of Velia, where everyone else fishes at. Of course, it's going to be exhausted as well. It's like over here. Out this way. So you just go left of um, the dock. Now, you can use another thing called Creo's Fisher's Chair. I don't know if... Fisher. There's an alternative, Creos Fisher's Clothes. Um, those are the blue grade for. They're not Manos, they're the blue grade, the middle grade. Where is. The chair? I don't know if you can sell that. They, you used to be able to. Fishing tools. And I don't have one. Here's one. But there's a blue grade one you can get too, I think. That gives you like 100 Fisher Mastery. Oh. So. Let's see, there was seals that you could trade. Let me see these bottles. Yeah, it's a sturdy Fisher's chair. You can't sell it, but you can trade five broken, uh, discarded, discarded glass bottles for it over at um, Creo and Velia. It gives you mastery as well. Um, the other thing with AFK fishing are these discarded glass bottles. They are overpowered for contribution XP. Five of them give you 900 contribution, which is half as much as, say, if you're turning in leaves from farming or if you're turning in uh, witches' delicacies from uh, cooking or the any of the other byproducts. But in terms of a byproduct, it is the most overpowered one. Uh, it only takes five instead of ten to get your contribution. So, I definitely recommend that. And you're going to level trading up as well, turning in everything to the Imperial Trader and the um, Trading Manager for fish. Uh, it's one thing I do have to mention, if you're sitting here in Heidel, or even Velia, or any of the other spots that uh, drop the, the red slash orange fish, you have to take those to a Trade Manager. The Imperial guy won't buy them. Um, but... Still good money. Uh, the other item that has come out recently with the um, Sea Palace event is the fish tank. I haven't went and got mine yet. I need to do this other uh, iridescent quest. But it's... Get out of my way. It's a miraculous fish tank. It holds uh, 50... It has 50 slots. So it just stores the fish and it keeps them fresh longer so they don't expire and you can sell them to Imperial Delivery or to the Trade Manager. Um, so it just gives you 50 slots. I need to go get mine. Um, but you have to be at least Master 1 to do that. And they it was just an event but then they added in these ways to get these and I think it's like a daily or every other day item maybe a weekly who knows um it doesn't really say 
Yeah, it's weekly. It says right there. On the thing. Complete weekly quest from Dorio in the Sea Palace. So, I've I've got three of them stored away uh, in Olvia here. And then I just need to do that other quest because I didn't do them all while the Sea Palace was out. Now I can go get the fish tank and trade it in. So, after re the weekly reset, I should be able to do that, I think. Because I'm pretty sure I already did it this week. I'm trying to remember anything else off the top of my head. That's uh, all my notes that I had. I wanted to make sure and hit all of the places and the major things that I use. I usually do this overnight here and I store up the relic shards, which I am up to you if I wasn't blind. Almost a thousand again. Um, used to, I would sell them off. So I'd store up to about a thousand, fifteen hundred, and I would just sell them. But uh, I think I'm going to run them this time. I still have 3,000 scroll written in ancient language that I need to run to. So I'm falling behind. I just haven't done the, any of them uh, yet. I'm up to 235 silver and bread. I'm going to overload my marketplaces. I'm going to have to have to slam some of those cooks closed together. See if I can make some plus fours and fives and sell them. Um, I have a plus four already. But I hardly ever use it because I mostly mastery cook now. But anyway, I'm I'm rambling. I'm getting off track. Um, that is it. Artifact, polar bear slash penguin, whichever one. And uh, those pets do not stack. So once you have one, that's all you need. Uh, get it to tier four and level. Since they took levels out, you just have to get it to tier four. But it uh, it will reduce the fishing time by 30%. It'd be nice if we could get multiples of, like, say, two or three polar bears and it would stack, but they don't. Uh, so, artifact set, polar bear, and the uh, plus 10 balanos rod. Those are the main things for AFK fishing. And then push your mastery as high as you can just for that little bit of extra, extra prize catch uh, percentage. Uh, and then whatever float you want to use. If you want to go for rare fish, great. If you want to go for big fish, that works too. Neither one of those are required. Uh, you can, if you're if you're a pearl buyer, you can do an item brand stone. Um, you can see mine are branded. It makes the durability um, go down 50% slower. So you can fish longer without having to repair um, in terms of pay to win stuff, the other thing that you can do, and I already showed you the fish tank, that gives you 50 slots, but also max out your character's inventory slots, that way you can AFK longer, you know, so. Not too much pay to win there, but there are a few things, the polar bear's the main thing. Um, but the inventory slots and the item brands do have an effect, just to be transparent. I think I got those through the, the item brand stones. I may have a few more of them floating around here. Yeah, I got those through like events and giveaways and stuff. I still got eight of them. But the durability consumption gets reduced by 50% and repair cost by 33%. So that helps. There's also a Fisher's costume in the pearl shop I don't use it because I use the um, tailored Fisher's uniform it's under apparel outfit oops I think it uh, maybe it's under costume yeah it's costume splat Fisher's clothes is what it's called plus one fishing swimming speed 90% and 10% stamina consumption while swimming or you can get, and if you have the whole thing, you can uh, have jump height and swimming speed. I don't understand that. I, you get plus one fishing out of it, so it's just kind of a waste of pearls. But, I mean, it's there if you want it. I have the shark suit for all of the underwater breathing and uh, swimming stuff. Yep. So, I mean, I guess it's good if you're out in the middle of the ocean swimming and, and fishing, but... It's not going to help you if you're just sitting here on a rock like I do, AFK. 
because you can get plus one or two fishing out of so many other things and the fishing XP uh, percent is better overall than the um, plus one fishing so yeah. might as well buy an equipment tailoring coupon and go with this instead of the pay to win uh, costume so that's it. Uh, that's all I got. Buy your stuff, set it up, make money. Eventually it'll pay for itself, all the silver you spend on the artifact set. I mean, it's going to take a while, but it will pay for itself. That and the, um, the plus 10 Balanos rod doesn't cost too much to get. And neither does the maple float. Those are only a few hundred million, so... Now the Manos close, eh, it's about a billion for a duo, but I did try to get my duo to Tet, but uh, I failed Pariah to duo about 19 times the last time I did this, so uh, it just stays at duo for now. I mean, it's not like getting it to Tet's going to do much for me other than increase the mastery, and increased mastery is not going to give me enough to warrant spending billions of silver on memory fragments and stones. Let's see yeah 140 mastery and a few fishing levels that I really don't need so that's what it is um, getting artisan fishing really helps with inventory management as well because you can say throw away blue and below and you only end up keeping yellow fish and red slash orange fish whatever color they are and the the special things like the coelic ants the silver keys and the bottles that i have down there um so that is the goal get the artisan one get all your equipment and profit all right that's all i got for today um my voice is a little fried so sorry for the monotone I hope you guys enjoyed, and maybe maybe you learned something. Um, I, I thought AFK fishing was kind of just an old thing, and it's something I've done since I started playing the game. I switched from horse training to AFK fishing because I kept disconnecting when I was horse training, and I never really went back. I've done some horse training recently just because I want to push for tier 10 mats, but uh, AFK fishing was something that I, I really... Um, or even active fishing. Like sometimes I'll just sit here and active fish, but um, the AFK fishing is is my go-to in terms of AFK uh, money making. But I always wanted to get a boat, and which I'm working on the big boat. But I, I just wanted to be a fisher, you know, just go out into the to the ocean and just bring back hauls of fish. But you can't make enough silver doing that. I guess you can if you like harpoon fish, you can make, but it's still not good silver per hour. Um, Hotspot fishing makes okay money, but it's it's still active fishing and it's not gonna make as much as if you sit there and grind. So it's just one of those things where you have to prioritize to make the most silver and unfortunately life skilling and most of the life skills fall behind grinding and uh the one the few life skills that don't fall behind are the ones that are semi-active like cooking and alchemy is kind of down on the list and processing's there but but fishing just kind of got passed over you know so i appreciate all the support and everybody that spends their time watching uh if you if you have something to add let me know if i forgot something um if you learned something great but have a good rest of your day and as always until next time